In 2021, the March of Dimes organization calculated in Texas, 11.4% of babies were born preterm. That's higher than the U.S. rate of 10.5%, but not as high as Corpus Christi's rate at 11.7%. Driscoll's NICU medical director, Yuming Chong, tells us this isn't a surprise. The rate of prematurity have always kind of goes up and down with time. While the rate of premature births remained steady in 2020, the next year there was a 4% increase, the worst national rate since 2007. In the pandemic, we initially did not see a high rate of prematurity, but now we saw was there was definitely more birth. So I think that correlates to why there was more preterm birth. Karen Salazar Vega is one woman who gave birth prematurely in 2021. Her daughter Violet was six weeks early. It's a surprise, so it's not something we were expecting. Um, having a baby go to NICU and not home with you is Awful. It's heartbreaking. Salazar Vega says it made her feel better knowing she was not alone. A lot of people will turn to the internet and like Facebook support groups to find other people who are going through similar experiences. So I was able to connect with other moms, moms that had their babies a lot earlier than Violet. With Texas earning a D minus for rising preterm births, yeah. Chong expects the numbers to climb even more. It's definitely higher this year. Uh, our NICUs have all had um, higher census, which means we have more babies in there. Chong tells us preterm births are tied to a mother's health. If a woman is healthy earlier in life, more than likely their baby will also be healthy. Reporting in the studio, I'm Victoria Valderrama for Action 10 News.